Hey, what is up guys? Sorry, I'm looking kind of bummy-ish, but I just got home from work. Um, and I just wanted to make this video for you guys. Um, so as you can see in the title, this is about my dermal piercing. Um, as you can see, my piercing is covered up. So I'm going to get into that and why it is and all that. So, um, today has been exactly two weeks since I got my piercing done. Um, my skin diaper and my chest, dermal, same thing. Um, yeah, two weeks exactly today. Um, a week ago, seven days ago, which at that time I had my piercing for a week then, um, my dermal fell out. So, like, literally completely fell out. Um, one night I was cleaning it and it just came out. So, um, what I did, because I wanted to keep my piercing, I mean, I don't know if I recommend anyone else doing this, so I'm not going to say to do it, but what I did, I literally put it back in myself. So, um, fell out to my hand, I, uh, cleaned it, like I made sure it was clean before I stuck it back in, <laughs> stuck it back in me basically, and I like... Put it back in the hole basically yes it hurt because it was only a week after i got it done so it's still sore um so i like i said i cleaned it put it back in i pushed it down as much as i could to make sure it was in enough at least as much as it could be and then this band-aid has been on it since then um i did call my piercer after i did that though the next day because like i said it was nighttime so i called her told her hey my piercing fell out I put it back in though what should i do and um she basically just told me to put the band-aid on it keep a band-aid on it which helps the pre like the band-aid puts pressure on it to like keep it like keep it down like in or whatever so this like it has time to heal and like the skin has time to like you know grow like around it or whatever and attach itself to it so it doesn't fall back out because like i said after a week it wasn't healed so there's nothing really holding it into place per se so um it could just easily not easily fall out but it could fall out or try to come out or whatever so the band-aid holds it in place that way it doesn't it can't move and it has time to heal properly so um i literally went to the store where i went to i went to i don't know if it's walgreens i think it was walgreens same difference though but i went to walgreens to me and got a pack of waterproof band-aids because I was using regular band-aids and obviously if you shower you know band-aids are going to fall off in the shower so I went to Walgreens and bought a um, pack of waterproof band-aids I bought uh, I was going for just these small ones but the pack that I got they had like different size and like uh, like this size and then medium and large so let me show you again this is just what the band-aid looks like and then where the um I don't know whatever but the brown part is where my dermal is so it's holding on in there and I just leave this on and um I literally don't take it off so as far as cleaning it wise no I don't necessarily clean clean it like every day or anything because I don't know really but I feel like it's more important for me to keep it in so it doesn't fall out again instead of keep cleaning it and it still is like I don't know how to explain it because like for one okay for one let me tell you guys like I don't I think I, I don't know if I told you yeah I don't know if I told you in my last video but because like at that time it was still fresh it was like only five days but it's been like since I've been cleaning it and stuff it's been like pussing still and it's been like still like trying to come out like it's trying to reject so like with cleaning it and everything is still like pussing and to me that doesn't seem right so I just been avoiding getting it wet like at all so these waterproof band-aids work because you know nothing can get in it on it whatever so I just like I said keep it covered I don't take it off unless the band-aid comes off and I just change it and put another band-aid on um to keep it as dry as possible and to keep it in one place um actually i really like having the band-aid on far as like um 
like pain I guess I would say because far as like before when I like the piercing was just out like if I hit it or if I laid on it or whatever like it hurts like I think I did say that I mentioned that in the last video like I was saying um like and when I lay down like I had like if I lay like on my side I had to like lay straight back because pressure on it hurts um so like with this like I could lay any type of way like there's no pressure on it if I could touch it I could hit it like nothing hurts so I actually like having it secure with the band-aid because it feels better um yeah I don't think there other than that crazy stuff that has been happening and nothing else has been happening um which I mean I feel like that right there is a lot so um so like I said, I feel like it was kind of infected with like the pussing and stuff. I feel like it was rejecting because like one of the sides was trying to come out again. And also it fell out. <laughs> so that's a big thing right there. It fell completely out and I had to put it back in myself. Um, having to wear this bandaid on it all the time to secure it so it can heal. That's aggravating. Honestly, like I was thinking about getting another dermal. I think I mentioned that and yeah, I mentioned that in my last video. But I'm just like, I don't know, like dermals, like I have a lot of, like I have other piercings and piercings are like, you know, different to take care of. They're not so, I don't even know the word. They're not so, they're not so much work basically. But so I'm like, I don't know, like this dermal has been taking me through a lot and it's only been two weeks. Like I love it. Like I love this piercing so much. Like I don't want it to reject so that's what I've been doing like this like I said like I've been trying to keep it because I really don't want to have to get rid of it but like at the end of the day I don't want it to be infected and pussing and like hurting and looking ugly and swollen because like when it was out and it was like pussing and stuff and I'll be like trying to like clean it it's like swollen around it just it's just not cute you know and yeah I just don't like that so I don't know, like, this person has been, it's really cute, but it's taken me through a lot, so, I would say, like, if you guys feel, like, I would just say, like, if you guys are thinking about getting, like, a dermal, you know, skin diaper, I would really say to make sure and make sure you do research, more research or whatever, on these piercings before you go get one, because they are a lot more work than I expected, um, like healing cleaning and everything wise um like i said they're not like a regular piercing as far as cleaning and taking care of it because i've had a whole bunch of piercings before and i've never had an infected piercing um well less, other than the one time i did tell you guys about in my tongue piercing video but that was my fault it wasn't <laughs> nothing else like i did that but yeah anyways anyways but like other than that like it just being infected for no type of reason um i never had any problems with that um but yeah so i don't know like dermos are just a lot to do with so i would say again if you're thinking about it think about it some more make sure you want to get it make sure that you're like 100 percent sure basically because these aren't just easy to take out you know what i mean like they're not just like a regular piercing you just take it out like i feel like they'll leave more of a scar basically because you know they're in your skin so i would just say like i said think about it that was just my two week update um i'm probably gonna do one more update on my piercing for you guys i don't know when i know i'm gonna do a month like a month on it but i don't know if i'm gonna do like a one month oh two month three month you know but um after some time i am gonna do another one for you guys so you can be uh, caught up, I guess, on my journey with my dermal and everything. But um, yeah, I hope this video was helpful. Hope you guys learned something or whatever. But um, yeah, that's about it. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe. And love you guys.